Hello, I'm Wang Xinxian from Department of Electronics and Tianjin Key Laboratory of Photoelectronics in Film Devices and Technology, Nankai University. I'm so honored to share some highlights in the letter with you. Those videos produced by ACS Sustainable Chemistry and Engineering. Let's begin. The title of the letter is Copper Dopped the Small Pore Cellulite. For carbon dioxide capture by honeycomb rotor with low temperature regeneration. Our motivation behind the work is that carbon dioxide capture is important for controlling the global greenhouse effect, but the current energy consumption for carbon dioxide capture is too high. If we want to find a material and a process that can absorb carbon dioxide at room temperature and then dissolve and regenerate at a lower temperature, then the energy consumption for carbon dioxide capture can be greatly reduced. The major findings of our research is that copper iron dotted arterial cellulite can adjust to the force between the carbon dioxide molecular and the cellulite absorbent, and most of the carbon dioxide molecular can be dissolved there and regenerated at a temperature of 65 degrees. Then the cellulite is coated on the honeycomb rotor and the carbon dioxide capture can be driven by a low temperature heat source by using the principle of temperature swing absorption. Thin series of cellulite with high crystallinity is critical in our research and we use thermographic analysis to investigate the absorption and desorption performance of cellulite. The results have shown that the copper dotted arterial cellulite has the highest carbon dioxide absorption capacity. In addition, the copper dot the arterial cellulite has the biggest difference for the absorption of carbon dioxide, not only between 25 and 65 degrees, but also between 25 and 90 degrees. It suggests that the copper dot the arterial cellulite is an excellent carbon dioxide capture materials used for honeycomb rotor, which can operate at the absorption at room temperature with the regeneration at as low as 65 degree. Moisture was introduced into the absorption system to investigate the influence of water vapor on the absorption of carbon dioxide on copper dotted cellulite by TG measurement. It can be found that the carbon dioxide capture abilities decreases drastically under humid conditions. Therefore, it's very important to remove water from the flue gas before the absorption of carbon dioxide. Therefore, we proposed a carbon dioxide capture system by temperature swing absorption processes on the honeycomb rotors. The major challenges remains for future research is to reduce the effect of water vapor on the absorption performance of the absorbent materials and improve and the absorption capacity of ultra-low concentration carbon dioxide, which can be used for direct air capture in the future.